Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Until now we have learned how to add, subtract and multiply two algebraic expressions. Now it is time to learn how to divide two algebraic expressions. Let us start with the most simplest of them that is division of a monomial with another monomial. That also means the, that we will have two algebraic expressions each having only one term. Consider 6x cube. This is a monomial and let us divide it by 2x which is again a monomial. This can be written as 6x cube whole divided by 2x which can also be written as 6 multiplied by x multiplied by x multiplied by x whole divided by 2 into x. Now we can easily cancel 1x with 1x and we are left with 3x square. Notice that we are cancelling the constants like in normal division and we are cancelling x also like normal division. Let us now study how to divide a binomial, trinomial or any polynomial with a monomial. Consider 4y cube plus 5y square plus 6y. This algebraic expression has three terms. So it is a trinomial. And suppose we have to divide it by 2y. 2y is a monomial. This can be written as 4y cube plus 5y squared plus 6y whole divided by 2y. Although there are many methods of solving after this step, but the most simplest is that each term of our algebraic expression has to be divided by 2y. So then our question changes to the following. And from here we will solve as usual. We will get 2 to the 4 and one of the y's will get cancelled remaining y square. Similarly here one of the y's will get cancelled and y power 1 will remain. 2 3's are 6 and y gets cancelled. So we are left with 2y square plus 5 by 2y plus 3 which is our required answer. When we have to divide a polynomial by a polynomial it is always wise to factorize. Consider an example. Let us take a binomial and divide it by another binomial. This can be written as 7x square plus 14x whole divided by x plus 2. Now let us try to first factorize our numerator. In 7x square plus 14x we can see that we can take out 7 common and also x common. So let us take it out. We have 7x common then in the bracket remains x plus 2 and we have to divide it by x plus 2. 
From here on, it becomes very easy since we are having a factor x plus 2 which is multiplied by x and 7 and denominator also we are having x plus 2. So both of them get cancelled and we are left with 7x. Hence we see that when we have to divide two polynomials, factorization helps a lot. Let us read the question. Do the following division. Minus 20x power 4 divide by 10x square. We can start by writing it as minus 20 into x into x 4 times since it is x power 4 whole divide by 10 multiply by x into x as it is x square. Now it is easy to cancel 10 to the 20 and 2x get cancelled and we are left with minus 2 x square which is the required answer. Let us read the question. Do the following division 7 x square y square z square divide by 14 x y z. This can be written as 7 x square y square z square whole divide by 14 x y z which can further be written as 7 multiply by x into x multiply by y into y multiply by z into z whole divide by 14 multiply by x multiply by y multiply by z now let us cancel 7 to the 14 1 x gets cancelled and y gets cancelled and 1 z gets cancelled and we are left with 1 by 2 x y z